Today's presentation will discuss xenotransplantation. First, it is important to understand what this means. Xenotransplantation is transplanting a non-human or animal tissue into a human recipient. This video will focus on the role of porcine tissue specifically in xenotransplantation. First, let's discuss what drives the need for this procedure. The demand for human organs far exceeds the supply of those that are donated. According to the FDA, currently 10 patients die each day in the United States while they are on the waiting list to receive life-saving vital organs. Porcine organs can grant extra time to these patients while they wait on the transplant list. It is also important to recognize that synthetic and mechanical materials in medicine may not be adequate. Let's discuss why porcine tissue is a great candidate. Number one, there are a large amount of anatomical and physiological similarities. This includes similar organ size and physiological function. Number two, it avoids many ethical questions. Since pork is already utilized as a food source worldwide, it is less ethically problematic than using a cadaver or a primate tissue source for transplantation. Number three, easily accessible. Swine are very reproductively efficient and are prolific breeders, resulting in a large pool of potential donors. Number four, beneficial genetic modifications. Genetic modifications make pork tissue less likely to be attacked by the recipient's immune response, therefore decreasing the rate of rejection. Number five, lower risk of infectious disease. Though cross-species infection from a retrovirus is still a concern of the FDA, porcelain tissues are less likely to cause disease than primates. Number six, more economically efficient. Due to the large pool of availability in donors, it is more economically efficient to use something that's already mass produced. Where do we use porcelain tissue in medicine? One application is in skin grafts. Porcine skin grafts are referred to as xenografts because they are transplanted between two different species. They are used to stimulate granulation of tissue and re-epithelialization in large burns. They can also be used as a temporary dressing in burn patients because they ready the site for a human tissue graft and prevent the loss of insensible fluids and prevent infection as well. Porcine tissue is also used in abdominal reconstructions. Porcine tissue is preferred over synthetic meshes because it retains the mammalian extracellular matrix that acts as a natural scaffolding for host cells. It is also safer to use in infected fields, unlike synthetic meshes. Finally, we will talk about the application of heart valve replacement. As this diagram shows, there are two different types of replacement heart valve, both tissue and mechanical. Tissue valves are made from bovine and porcine heart valves, as well as the pericardium. These valves work very efficiently in the human heart and can last on average from 10 to 15 years before they begin degrading. They have a large advantage over mechanical valves because they are closer to a human heart's natural environment. They also do not require the patient to be on lifelong anticoagulants, which will increase your patient's risk of bleeding. Tissue valves are treated before implantation and do not require anticoagulants at all because they do not aggravate the body's immune system. Current research is being extended in many areas. One potential application is using neurological cells to treat diseases such as Parkinson's and Hutchinson's disease. 
Corneal trans transplants are also a viable option. Also, research is being done into extracellular matrix. These matrices will act as a natural scaffolding and support tissues within organs. They are experimentally being used in people for replacement of tissue growth. The body will break down the proteins and collagen in the matrix. Thank you for listening to our presentation. That's all, folks.